As a professor in biomedical and chemical engineering, I have a passion for developing new biomaterials and drug delivery systems. Unfortunately, if we live long enough, all of us will experience some form of age-related vision loss. The top four age-related ocular diseases currently impact over 35 million people in the U.S. alone. This includes cataract, diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, and age-related macular degeneration. The global population over the age of 65 is projected to more than double in the next 30 years, bringing with it a huge increase in prevalence of these diseases. This number of visual impairments is expected to more than double by the year 2050. I would like to tell you more about the third leading cause of blindness, which currently has no cure. It is the top cause of severe, permanent vision loss in people over the age of 60. Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, will affect 30% of people by the age of 75. These patients have damage to the retina and the back of the eye, which causes permanent loss of vision in different locations. Here's how the damage to the retina happens. A small, central portion of your retina, called the macula, wears down, impairing your ability to sense light. As the condition worsens, the cells get thinner and die. Imagine having dimming or distortion in your vision, especially when reading. This progresses to fuzzy or dark spots in your vision, Eventually, you will develop blind spots and might completely lose central vision. This loss of vision takes a significant toll on the mental health and quality of life of the patient. A typical patient's older, but likely wants to stay active. This includes playing with grandkids, reading, and traveling. All of these activities are impacted by this disease. For instance, patients lose independence and ability to drive. This also makes reading more difficult. You can imagine how challenging this is for both the patients and the caregivers. Fortunately, in 2006, the FDA approved the first drug therapy for ophthalmic use and treatment of AMD. Unfortunately, due to the nature of the therapeutic, it must be injected directly into the eye. The only way that patients have been able to maintain vision is with frequent, often monthly, injections of these drugs. There is no cure for AMD. So these treatments must continue for the rest of their lives. This treatment regimen also incurs huge costs that are a burden to the patients, the caregivers, and the healthcare system, with half a million injections performed every month in the U.S. alone. Patients are being undertreated because compliance with a painful, nearly monthly injection is nearly impossible. Without the development of longer lasting therapies, the problem of injection burden will keep getting worse. Ophthalmologists and patients agree that one of the top unmet needs is finding a way to extend therapeutic release to reduce injection frequency and office visits for these patients. One day, a few years ago, shortly after joining the Ohio State University, I was presenting general research ideas to my colleagues in ophthalmology. Dr. Matthew Orr, an ophthalmologist at Ohio State, was in the audience that day. He saw that I had worked on biomaterials for injection into the vitreous humor. Dr. Orr introduced me to the challenges associated with treatment of AMD and the treatment burden for AMD patients. He then asked if I thought it would be possible to develop an implant that had extended release that lasted several months. My work is focused on developing new treatments for blindness, including implants and drug delivery systems for the eye. My research uses polymers, which we encounter every day in our food and household products and in glasses and contact lenses. We use these polymers and what we know about the eye to build new biomaterials and drug delivery systems. To address this, my lab at Ohio State is developing local ocular drug delivery technologies with the goal of reducing the number of patient visits and improving visual outcomes. These biodegradable injectable implants have the ability to sustain drug release. We have developed small drug delivery devices from particles a thousand times smaller than a poppy seed to microcapsules smaller than a grain of rice. We investigate many types of polymers and use different engineering and materials processing techniques to develop these drug delivery systems. 
The research in my lab has also shown that we can fine tune our tunable extended release capsule to sustain drug release for at least six months to over one year. One of the major challenges is associated with the complex nature of these therapeutics we are trying to deliver. They are large proteins or antibodies and are inherently unstable, difficult to handle, and are costly. Each injection currently costs thousands of dollars. These drug delivery systems we have developed maintain therapeutic bioactivity. We are also able to reduce therapeutic waste, minimizing the amount needed of these expensive therapeutics. Let me take a minute to explain the capsule itself. The tunable extended release capsule is an injectable biodegradable drug delivery platform. This relies on polymer electrospinning and other processing methods to produce a biodegradable capsule with a porous outer wall. It leaves a hollow central lumen to load the drug without harsh processing, enabling protection for the payload. During manufacturing, the porosity or the size of the holes in the wall of the capsule can be tuned to provide the desired drug elution characteristics for the unaltered biologic therapy. We've demonstrated a nine month duration of effect for AMD therapeutics in vitro and over 12 months for other proteins. The device is designed to be an in-office injectable so it wouldn't require a surgical procedure to implant this research represents a significant improvement over the current treatment of monthly injections required for age-related macular degeneration. The journey for this science started with a discussion between an engineer and an ophthalmologist. The science was advanced with support from the Ohio Lions Eye Research Foundation and seed funding from Ohio Third Frontier Technology Validation and Startup Fund and seed funding from angel investors and venture capital. To this end, this initial funding has been instrumental in gaining fundamental information, enabling us to forge ahead to fund continued development. The expertise available at Ohio State made this all possible. This involved cross-collaboration between different engineering disciplines, chemistry, material science, and ophthalmology. These experienced collaborators and excellent students have made this work possible. Ocular drug delivery technologies developed in my lab at Ohio State, including the tunable extended release capsule, have been licensed with the goal of bringing these new treatments to patients. The primary focus is on delivering antibodies to reduce injection frequency for patients with neovascular AMD. The ultimate goal is for people like my parents to see first steps of grandchildren, read a favorite book, do crossword puzzles, or play a round of golf. This can improve quality of life and help them live a fuller life in later years. My hope is that these drug delivery devices will also be able to be used for the other form of AMD and retinopathies, which currently have no cure. I welcome you along our journey to see how far we can take this science. Thank you very much. Thank you.